TX44 Tournament Planer Board Setup Instructions You'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a quarter inch wrench, and a small needle nose pliers. When you open the package, you'll find the flag, the parts bag, the board, and the toe arm assembly with lockjaw clip. And here's a quick detailed view of what's included in that parts bag. Step one is deciding whether you need a starboard or port side board. This board ships with the weights and foam in the port position, but it can be easily changed. Assembly process looks very similar for either setup. Just always make sure the word for the setup you want is right side up on the face of the board. So now I'll show you how to change it from port to starboard and how to secure the weights and foam. If you want a port board, simply don't change the position of the weights and foam. First, remove the foam. Move the weights to the opposite edge. Then flip the foam over and fit it back into the board. Using two of the longer screws from the parts bag, secure the weights in place. Then use two of the longer screws to secure the foam. Again, the rest of the setup is very similar for both port and starboard. Just make sure the word for the setup you want is facing up. For step two, we're going to install the rear pin. Although it can be installed on either the top or the bottom of this board, most of our customers prefer the pin on the bottom for the TX44s. Locate the stainless steel pin and spring. Position the spring inside the recess in the bottom back corner of the board and feed the pin through the hole in the bottom edge of the board and then through the spring. Now grab the tiny hairpin clip with your needle nose pliers. Compress the spring a little until you can see the groove in the pin and snap the clip into that groove on the pin. Step three is to attach the Easy Store toe arm assembly. First locate the pieces of the Easy Store toe arm in the parts bag. You receive two of these mounting plates, one stamped with an L for port and one with an R for starboard. Use the one for the setup you are building. Turn the mounting plate over and insert the locking nut into the recess in the plate. Now slide the washer onto the screw and insert the screw into the hold down plate. Flip the mounting plate over and attach the hold down plate by tightening the tension screw. Now take the assembly and position it on the face of the board just over the pre-drilled holes. Secure the assembly to the board with two screws. Next, you'll need to tighten the tension screw, but first make sure you have the hold down plate positioned with the lip pointing down along the bottom edge of the mounting plate. Tighten the tension screw just to snug, but not too tight. The lock jaw should snap open and closed easily but with some noticeable tension. Adjust the tension screw as needed. Add a small nut to the bottom of the lock jaw clip. This serves as a lock nut to hold the tension. Use a quarter inch wrench to tighten that up. And here's a tip, always store your lock jaw clips in the open position to maintain their bite. Now, using the corner of the toe arm to get it started, slide the toe arm assembly between the mounting and hold down plates. It should require a little force to release and reinsert it. Adjust the tension screw as needed. And as an optional setup, we've included two extra screws so you can mount the toe arm directly to the board without easy store. The final step is to attach the flag. Match the hole in the flag arm with the little pin on the back of the board just above the screw hole. Using a screw, attach the flag to the board and tighten the screw. Snug, but don't over tighten it. For easy board storage, push forward slightly on the flag arm to disengage the pin and lower the flag. 
And to connect your TX44 tournament board to your line, simply snap open the lockjaw clip, run the line coming from the reel through the opening between the clip pads, and lock the clip closed. Then pull the rear stainless steel pin open, slide the line past it, and release the pin. And with that, your TX44 tournament planer board is ready to fish.